Hello YouTube, this is going to be a video of something interesting I'm making, trying to make. It's going to be a ski bike. Two skis on the front, double suspension. Now, uh, in Quebec, in Canada of course, especially Montreal area, there aren't that many ski resorts that let you ride these right now currently. Um, there's one that's kind of like just a bunny hill you have to walk up yourself, it's Mount Royal in Montreal. And then I called all the other ones around here, and the only one that appears to let me ride it, besides for weekends, is uh, St. Bruno. And um, they only let me ride during the week. Uh, let's see, Tromblon said no, Avila said no, saint Sauveur said no, Mont Blanc said no, and, um, and Bromont said no. Ski bikes allowed on their slopes, even if they're uh, ski bikes that are professionally made. Um, yeah, so this is uh, what's left after I disassembled of uh, 1996 Trek ST120. Um, now uh, I am upgrading the components on it. So original frame, original pivots inside. I removed the pedals properly, but I think I still need to take these uh, squares out to put the pegs on. Um, I'm not paid by this, but uh, cheapest guy I found around here in Canada for a kit to convert the ski bikes to that machine, CNC machine, then whatever, it's ready to go, I don't need to do any special bracketry or anything, is uh, bikethislopes.ca, and um, they have a kit for $125 Canadian, shipped anywhere in Canada. Um, yeah, so I made sure the bushings are good in there, it's solid, it's not bent, um, seat posts, still original, the seats, uh, for market, whatever, I don't care uh, that much about it. This is, uh, used, I bought a Fox Vanilla uh, mid middle suspension, it still works nice um, and yeah, the bearing caps and the bearings in there are still good and top and bottom of the headset um, here are the skis I'm going to use, I just assembled them and I filled out all the drill holes with epoxy uh, I cut them to length I think the maximum length you could use is the length from the end of the fork to the end there those are cutting in half approximately, it's maybe a little longer, maybe a little shorter, depending on the ski. You have to balance it and find the center point of it. Um, so, yeah, these skis, uh, I think the maximum you can make them is 34 inches. These are 32 inches, and they were adult skis. Um, yeah, they're the cheapest ones I found. And got them cut off the backs of them. Put some epoxy. I'm not the best at epoxying or waxing. I just put some epoxy, clear epoxy on it in Harbor Freight. And... Uh, Got that epoxied up, ready to go, ready to drill when I get the kit. Uh, here's this, yeah, the fork. Yeah, I test drove it when it still had the wheels on it, and uh, I'm selling the wheels also. I'm selling uh, the Shimano uh, Dior LX uh, derailleurs, and the seven speed Dior LX, and uh, the three speed in the front derailleur, which is still in amazing shape actually. Um, and the cantilever brakes and everything like that. Ship levers I sold already. I mean, this is the original fork from it. It's a RockShox Quadra. I wanted to replace it with another one. They're expensive on eBay. They're like 40 bucks. So, uh, yeah, it shattered on me. Uh, when I test drove it, it all corroded inside and bounced off the sidewalk and it broke. And I called RockShox just to see uh, if they can make a recall on it or something. But I don't know. I know it wasn't maintained, but I mean, like, seriously, it bounced down like six inches like that. And I think cracks with your weight on it and I'm 160 pounds doesn't make sense anyways steer tube on this seven and seven eighths inches long interesting size I bought a replacement fork not that one that one I bought because I was an idiot and somebody told me five bucks but it's threaded and that's a cheap zoom fork from an old narco but it's threaded and uh, this is not threaded but it is still the same diameter it's one eighth diameter um, yeah, where'd I put, no, that is my fork, what am I talking about, that's not my fork, that one's the red one, yeah, this one's a good one, uh, this is the Azarshi Z2 fork, uh, it's an older one, early 2000s probably, not as well as a bike, not 96, the problem is this one is, steerer tube, 7 inches long, 7, 7, eight, seven. doesn't line up, doesn't go all the way, and it has that screw point in, I'm gonna either need to somehow swap steer and the crown or buy a new one at a bike shop. Yeah, I got this fork, Kijiji, which is like uh, Craigslist in the States, and it cost me 
40 bucks from a guy. He's asking 60. We got it for 40. Um, pretty heavy, solid built thing. Weighs about eight pounds. Heavy duty, considering that I'm not gonna have wheels or gears or anything on the bike. I could put a heavy fork on it. And this one's got 120 millimeters of travel, which is plenty, plenty. Just service. Bounces nice. I can't see it. Whatever, it bounces nice. Uh, recoil damper is adjustable. Still has this elastometer inside. It's not air or anything. It's not oil, it's oil bath. But uh, yeah, it's got elastometers, springs, all that stuff in there. Uh, it's not leaking or anything and it still bounces, so I think we got an okay deal on it. Uh, I'll put this on and put the skis in front of it. It's a really nice addition, uh, especially since uh, my old fork here has. I don't know, 60 or 70 millimeters of travel. This one's got 120. This is uh, more of a downhill style fork. Um, and yes, it is aftermarket, of course. Uh, it's only got like a little scratch in it, but I don't care about that. Just need to change the steer tube out on it, and it's going to be a hard part of it. But once I get this in there, put it on the front of the bike, re grease the bearings, and uh, it should be ready for my skis. Uh, the ski kit is going to come with two brackets and uh, posts to mount the uh, skis to. And then you just drill four holes in the skis and put these ski screws in. In my opinion, I don't know exactly how screws like this hold the weight of a rider on. I mean, these screws are these are from the original ski foot pegs, whatever, for the boots. I don't ski personally, but I'm going to try uh, ski biking and uh, see if I like it. Um, yeah, these screws are literally just almost as long as as thick as this ski. And that ski is like three eighths inch thick, maybe. The bottom is metal on this ski. I don't know if they're all like that, but you have to cut this ski. Uh, I thought I was gonna be able to do it with a jigsaw, metal blade. Nope. Wood blade. Nope. I need to use a grinder because I don't know if you can see through the epoxy. The bottom is steel. You know, it's a steel bottom of the ski. I thought they were wood or fiberglass or something. The top stuff cuts easy, but uh, the bottom of that's steel. And uh, yeah, I need to use my grinder and my goggles and chop the heck of it off. And uh, yeah. Now these screws, four of these screws are supposed to hold a bracket to the bike. And hold my weight. So uh, I'll give part two when it's all together. Because I don't really video my work because I don't have a stand or anything, it's just my phone. But, um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting project. And, uh, hopefully, uh, it'll all come together nicely. And these screws will hold my weight. And I'll be able to go skiing in, uh, San Bruno. And, uh, yeah, again, the customer service there told me that it's okay to go skiing with a ski bike. And I said, are you sure? There's Googled images of a ski bike. Make sure that it can go. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, go. Well, as long as it's not the weekend when we're very full, you should have no problem. I'm like, okay. Nicest ones, a Vila straight up. Nope, can't go here. Sorry, no ski bike. Tromblon, they had to go back and forth. Managers originally thought yes, then they found out no. And Tromblon's also expensive. Roma, similar thing with the managers. Tromblon, uh, it took like five minutes and she told me no. Um, but uh, yeah, St. Bruno is not the nicest ski resort, but it's gonna be nice to go. And I could always go to the States, there's some more of them that allow ski bikes and. Uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be nice. It'll work out well. Again, it's a Trek frame. It's aluminum, so it's okay. And uh, yeah, it's Trek, so uh, it was a good bike at one point. Made in the USA, this bike. Actually made in the USA, not just designed in the USA. Oh, I can't even see that. Manufactured in the USA. Yeah, one of the uh, last tracks that were actually built there before they moved to Taiwan, I believe. Um, and it's just said designed in the USA. But yeah, it's just a good bike. Yeah, it was a good bike. And um, you know, with the upgraded rear suspension and the upgraded Zorshi front suspension, box rear suspension, coils, which actually might be better in the air in the winter because when it's minus 20 outside, uh, I don't know if uh, oils in the oil inside the air shocks will hold up uh, but springs seem to be uh, seem to work in the winter anyway so yeah put the skis on it and then see what happens in the next video if you want to make any more YouTube videos just comment below